Okay, good morning everybody. Mike Nemec here with some early morning grain and oilseed comments for Friday, April 17th. It's the end of the week and it's uh, overnight stale news and maybe stale price action to start off here. We got uh, both sides of the trade in the overnight session, but we're pretty much unchanged. But for the week, wheat has been the noticeable market down anywhere, depending on what class you want to talk about, down 30 to 50 cents. The corn market's pretty much unchanged. The bean market's maybe up a dime. The meal market's up around two bucks and the soybean oil market's up around 50 points. So it's been somewhat of an oil seed plus side versus the grains negative side type of week. But I've been kind of homing on in in the fact of it being somewhat of a $5, $4 and $10 market for wheat, corn and beans respectively. As far as we've dipped so far, rough it out. Maybe we've been this cheap now around 490 in the wheat, maybe around 380 in the corn and roughly around maybe 950 in the soybean. So we're underneath those levels. And because of the fundamentals, it seems like that's the reason why we should stay somewhat suppressed unless something changes, either be the carryouts here or abroad, weather, South America, and or business, but none of those are really kicking on in. So we'd have to say at this juncture that we're kind of at the lows of these price ranges. Are we gonna to continue to press it or are we gonna to need to see some more factors come at us, that being more or less crop conditions, progress, and or weather? So maybe we'll kind of stay stale and we'll have our commitment to trade report coming on out. We've been talking about the large volume and the open interest changes that we've been seeing here of late. Those commitment to trade reports are still suspected to go and show that we see still have sizable net short positions in the wheat and in the beans, not even in the corn, long the soybean oil and short the meal. And perhaps part of the reason with the wheat break this week was more or less in the Kansas City and Minneapolis markets. Those trades have been seeing the managed money net long. It'll be interesting to see if that was part of the wheat weakness this week, that being a lot of liquidation in, that, uh, in those two markets as a result of plantings and crop progress with the uh, hard red winter wheat. So all in all, we're going to stale, suppressed underneath $5, $4, $10, wheat, corn, and beans. Don't see much in vigorism to go push above those levels unless something weather-wise develops and that's not in the cards as well. Once again, these are my opinions, not that of ADM or ADMIS. Thank you.